War Thunder has five groups that they all sort their ground vehicles into. Tank Destroyers, SPAA, Light, Medium, and most importantly, Heavy Tanks. They are meant to push forth, holding the Allied forward lines while attempting to break through the enemy's front lines. What being clad in heavy armor, these beasts made of machine metal and manpower often become a staple of fear and respect within a nation's arsenal. Today, however, we'll be looking at Germany, known for the devastating Tiger tank, the king of the World War II battlefield. It has gone down in legend as one of the most feared heavy tanks, but to start our journey, we must skip rank 1 and 2, because the first heavy tank is in rank 3. The Tiger will be entering as our steel foundation. The Tiger has quite a few variations, the Tiger H1, the Tiger E, and the event Poor Tiger? We're gonna skip that one. Never knew Germany was into fairies. Anyways, let's get back to the important things. The first Tiger that you get access to is the Tiger H1. As this is Germany's first heavy tank, most people ignorant to its reputation will have lower expectations, because it's the first of its kind, powerful yet unrefined. To the pleasant surprise, the Tiger is a monster when used properly. The cannon that rests on its helm can penetrate just about anything without the need to aim. It does have a few exceptions in regard to angled heavy tanks of other nations, but for the most part, you'll be able to destroy just about anything you come across. I can't stress enough that when you get a down tier in this monster, partial or full, you'll be able to wreak havoc, easily being able to get upwards of 7 kills. I've been able to get double digits a few times playing the Tiger H1. And whilst on the topic of VR, the Tiger H1 sits at a very nice 5.3. You'll rarely get an up tier, and even if you do, the Tiger remains quite competitive. Now for the nitty gritty. Let's look at the statistics. Sitting at a rank of 3 and at a BR of 5.3, the Tiger H1 has quite a punch. Rocking an 88mm cannon, uh, it can achieve a maximum penetration of 165mm. It can also take quite a few hits with a 1.2mm rolled front armour and 82mm on the side and back. Lastly, the turret has 83mm of armour all round. If you give the Tiger the right opportunity, it can easily get you to 45km an hour as well. As far as the Tiger goes, the Tiger H1 is just one side of the coin. In come the rather pitiful Tiger E. Sitting at a BR of 5.7, it runs into its first problem. 90% of the time, it will get up tiered to 6.3 or even 6.7 every now and again. I think out of all the matches I played, I've only had once or twice where I've not spawned right next to a Tiger 2, which is my direct improvement. But moving on, this is a newer model of the Tiger tank, so there are some changes. 50 more horsepower, some truck armor here and there. It also has a slower turret rotation and, re and reload speed. Although the Tiger is very rightfully gained such a powerful reputation. It's time to move on to something bigger and better. Tiger 2 Electric Boogaloo. First on the chopping block, coming in 1 meter longer and 14 tons heavier than its predecessor, is the Tiger 2, which has three versions Tiger 2P, Tiger 2H, and a 105mm Tiger 2. Sadly, I don't have the 105 Tiger, no matter how much I want it, so this is where its story ends for the video. The Tiger 2 is the bigger and meaner, younger brother of the Tiger. The Tiger 2 gets a serious upgrade. Those 14 tons did not go to waste. Now sporting at 150mm upper and 100mm lower front plate, at a 50 degree angle, it will take nothing shy of the most powerful cannons to punch through this heavy metal monstrosity. The Tiger II is equipped with 80mm around the side and back of its hull, but it also has some extra armour in the form of 5mm side panels to help defend the tracks. Now moving to the turret, the back and sides are also 80mm all round, but drawing attention to the front, this is where the Tiger II differentiate themselves. 
The Tiger 2P has a 100mm thick front plate in the shape of what I can only think to describe as is a bulge. The Tiger 2H has a much easier to describe flat 180mm plate of steel. The last thing in its description is the cannon. Just like the Tiger 2's forefather, it is also equipped with the 88mm cannon. But this time, the penetration comes to the whopping 237mm, leaving the Tiger in the dust. Both the Tiger 2's sit at a very comfortable BR, those being 6.3 and 6.7. At a BR like this, they won't dominate, and you won't be racking up 10, 10 odd kills a game in a single life, but you can always guarantee a positive KDR at the minimum. I often find myself getting 3-4 kills in one life uh, with these tanks if they are placed at their own BRs. Also, they will obviously be less effective, they still manage to remain competitive, even when in a full up tier. Don't worry too much, you'll rarely see an up tier while using the Tiger 2P. The Tiger 2H getting an up tier is more likely to happen, but still uncommon. Time to flip the script, in favour of the power trip. Just like the original Tiger, the Tiger 2 will, all, will absolutely dominate in a down tier. In, in a down tier situation, you have the option of playing with half your brain shut off because a good portion of the tank just can't pen that front plate, allowing you to just walk, walk your ass out of cover and get a good look at the battlefield while taking shots. In my personal opinion, my favourite playstyle is you can't pen my power trip that these heavy tanks provide me with. It is the dopamine shot my brain needs. From our not so humble beginnings, we must draw this video to a close, but before I do, one more entry into our list of heavy tanks. The true heavy metal hero. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. But I am already saved. Mouse is the heaviest tank in the entire game, so if anyone deserves the heavy metal hero title, it needs to be the mouse. The Tiger is 56 tons, the Tiger 2 was 68 tons, and the mouse is 188 tons. To put that into perspective for my homeland audience, that is 170,551 kilograms. Or well, maybe I should be more inclusive for my American audience, because they do make up the majority of it. So for all you guys, that would be 240,640 Glock 19s. And it's really not hard to see how the mouse ends up weighing this much. With a 200mm front plate, 180mm upper side plate, 100mm lower side plate, 150mm back plate, and last but not least, 205mm turret with a 232 front plate for it as well. The mouse holds more than one record. It is also the largest tank by size. 110.2 meters long, which is 33 feet, 3.7 meters wide, 12.2 feet, and 3.63 meters tall, 12 feet. The last thing for our statistics is the firepower, and it sure is not lacking. In fact, it has two cannons. Its secondary cannon is a 75mm, but there's a few options. You will have the choice of firing HE, smoke, and heat, with a maximum pen of 100mm, but it's time for the main meal. The, m the mouse's main cannon is 128mm, which also has a few options. You have HE, APC, and two types of APCBC with a max pen of 312mm. So with the main cannon, you can pretty much penetrate every tank with not too much effort. But you might ask, after all that talk, what is it like to play this elephant? 
Well, to be frank, it is my favourite tank in the game. I love the complete disregard you can have for self-preservation, treating yourself as a walking shield. But sometimes, being a World War II tank, its age shows. You are a massive target for ATGMs and CAS, but for the most part, you will survive a massive amount of punishment. I will admit that compared to the previous tank, the performance of the Muse is quite poor. I'll almost never get a high cool game with it, and in some games, I may only get a single kill, because it's just out of its league with Cold War era tanks. I know I've been sending a lot of mixed messages about this tank, but to conclude my final thoughts, I love it to death. My favourite playstyle is a heavy tank, being able to take shots and dish them out. And this is what I enjoy most about the mouse. And all lives to glory, it is the heaviest tank. I love it, and I'm sure you will too. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'm sorry this video took so long to come out, but I hope to god it was worth the wait.